folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows up. Everything's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night and a great week. I better get a, a new ad on there, folks, because we're going to show you uh, my grandson, Tom. He's going to be running. He is running, man. It's a beautiful thing. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. This is a great card. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Marketwise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading down a buck 60. Nasdaq's off 184. S&P's off 38. Gold contract up $20.30, trade at 1932 an ounce. We have silver up uh, 25 cents, $24.99 an ounce. Light sweet crude up $3.40, $107.64 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 14 ticks, trading 149.12. The 30 year up 26 ticks. One second, no. The 10 year up 10 ticks at 122.21. The 30 year up 16 ticks at 149.14 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 584 ticks, trading 97,820. Euro is 111. Yen is at 121.84. And the British pound is trading at one. Where are you? Yeah, 131 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. One note's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so you get a market pulling back. And guess what, folks? You're pulling back with light volume. This market's not done going up. We're in a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. If you take a look at the SPY, the SPY is down 390. Trading is 457. You get a price projection in the SPY of 478. So far, we hit uh, 461 today. So this thing has a lot more to go. When I say you're pulling back with light volume, so watch what you're doing here. We well, got higher yesterday with 86 million. You get 48 million on the way down today. Uh, you know, maybe we're trying to fill this little gap. We had we gapped higher yesterday. We can get down to what 455.91. See if that's the case. But you're pulling back with light volume. That's the bottom line. We got to take a look at the NDX 100. Now, this is going to be a little, this is a little closer one, okay? But the at this point, you're still pulling back with light volume. You got 51 million there. We went higher out there yesterday with uh, 68. And the real kick is going to be what do we do? You know, and it could, it, it could, this could do 20 million coming to the close. If that's the case, well, then bottom line is that you get a toss up because you are coming back with an expansion of volume. That's how this baby would be set up. Gold contract. Gold contract wants higher price. The dollar's doing uh, the gold, uh, putting some juice under the gold market out here today. Uh, what you have with the gold market, folks, is that you're up 19 bucks. That's after rejecting lower price yesterday at 18 of 90. 1893 on this contract. Uh, right now we're at uh, 1937. We take a look at the silver contract, same type, type of setup inside the silver contract. What we have with the silver contract, you have 24 cents right now. You're trading out at a price point of uh, 24.98. And in both cases, I expect what you're going to have to see here, you have to build some cause because we, when you go down, and silver and gold always do it, man. They smoke it, they bring it down. It stayed there for, you know, 10, 15 minutes, and then just went topside once again. We take a look at the uh, dollar, and this one's going to get really intriguing. The reason being is this. The dollar had every right to basically blow away its last high. The last high in the dollar was 99,418. That was established uh, the 17th of uh, February, okay? We get to 99,364, and then... It gets taken apart, man. Yesterday, we went down 1,200 ticks. 1,000 ticks is a penny. Today, you're down another 100, uh, 590 ticks. And now this is what's going on here. You are right at the point that you are basically breaking this consolidation. You know, So I don't expect we're going to see it before I get off the air today, but we very well see it overnight. If we see it overnight, you're going to get a nice run-up inside of the gold market because the next leg down here inside the US dollar would be 97,441. You crack that and then you get 96,398. And that, if you crack that, you got big action, man. You, cr you crack that, you're gonna go down to 93. 
fact, let me put this. I'm going to put this on a monthly for a second because I want to see how this is set up. Because what has happened, look at this. So check this out, folks. This is on a monthly. And what we do have is that we have three lower highs on a monthly. And that brings us all the way back to 2016. First high was uh, 103.870. You had a spike high of 102.992. And if that's the high, we're talking about 94.18. Now, what we didn't get, the last time we were down here, it didn't break the low. But if we have fail up here, what that's saying is that you'll go right back to the bottom, and that bottom of that range is 89. You know, So you're talking about real action out here. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here that are trading today. You got, uh, let's see, uh, AMC's down 3 bucks. You got uh, Micron off $3. We have uh, NVIDIA off 10 then let's go look at a few of these because it, NVDA, because what we did have is this, and this is what you always got to be aware of, man. If an ABC structure is failing, no, it's not. Okay, this is cool to know. So I got NVIDIA up here, right? NVIDIA is in a large ABC structure up. It blew away the B point, did it with volume, uh, and now you're backing down with light volume. You know, NVIDIA down $9.85, but guess what? You're going into 60, 87 million shares, you've only done 36 million shares. Uh, SOX. Let's bring up the SOX. Let me see the semiconductor index here. Um, so you're down a buck thirteen, and okay, that's the wrong one I want. SOX. I want this one, but that's the one I. There we go. SOXX. That's what we want. Okay, so we bring this up. That had broken. Yeah, you. you yeah, you still pull, you're pulling back with 839,000 versus 1.6 million. They still want higher price. This this is like a really sweet setup that, you know, you, you're into window dressing, the bottom line. Um, you get a market that pulls back, has light of volume. We're gonna, you know, people are nervous. There's no doubt about that. With, with good right to be nervous, okay? There's, there's no doubt about that also. So Dow right now, down 176. NASDAQ off 189, S&P's off 39. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.